or let's throw it at here. So, what exactly happens? Another message here, yeah, after headstand you have to come to your, uh, at least uh, minimum half the time of the, for 10 minutes headstand, minimum 5 minutes, 7 minutes you have to be in corpse posture. Anyway, it's my routine so I, I'll be going to the pool, uh, time permit, permits me if, and do plowing. Here, the message again, for the animal lovers, <laughs> they are, how is looking at me, staring at me. See, for the animal lovers, this is a message, all is fair in love and war, like Mahabharata. If you are doing something for the right cause, okay, as a doctor does operation for removing cancerous tumors, it's not violence. So here comes the message, I am a perfect a yes, celebrate one and observing Buddha Sharanam Gachami. See, here is the fish, you know. Fish. I boil this fish. I bring this. See, it's contradictory, absolutely out of the way of Ashtang Yoga. Non violence under all circumstances. But I am indulging myself, feeding my Tinchu Pinchu. God sent me send them to me, you know, so it's my not to get back, you know, in spite I have to compromise sometimes for a good cause, animal lovers, you can go like that. Yogi Vinodhanand here, again I say, all is fair in love and war. So this is love, sometimes you have to go to this extent, we should never hesitate if we are doing something for a good cause, for our nation, for our patriotism, or saving somebody like doctors do. So sometimes, like mother is harsh sometimes with us, slapping us when we are children. So this is all like God. It's like car. You see, in Hindi we call it the person who makes earthen pots. It's a wheel. We call Kumhar in Hindi. What he does is took clay, clay mixed with the water, making it soft. Then on the wheel he rotates it. So, to give a shape to that, shape of earthen pot, pitcher, what he does is, one hand he rotates the wheel and the mud starts rotating, you have seen it, you know. So, he puts one hand inside, on the other side he keeps tapping like this. What he does is, he is giving support from inside and the wheel is rotating and the shape is being done to the mud shaping it to the simple mud, it becomes a pitcher. What is happening? Like the person who makes it called Kumhar, who makes these earthen pots on the wheel. On a wheel, that wheel in olden days were of the bullock cart, you know, big wooden wheel. So the purpose of this simile is, the god, the mother goddess is putting her hand beneath the earth. And from upside he is like this to give the shape when the wheel is like this. God is, Mother Goddess is making us, giving us a particular form, making us perfect by punishing us like as we are doing with the pad to give a shape to, to make a picture of the mud. So already we are made up of five elements, earth, water, fire, air, ether. Ether means the space everywhere. So these five elements, already we are a pot, like earthen pot. Now, in different shapes, 84 lakh species you can say, on this planet. Forget about other planets, where life is possible. So, these 84 lakh species. Now, whatever is happening, we should learn the art of endurance. See, a wonderful message I am giving you. Endurance. Either you cure yourself, go to a doctor. If you are in trouble, some pain or some sufferings, or this is the accumulation of the karmas which is boomeranging and we should pass smilingly. We should pass smilingly. That's why yogis in India, ascetics, they put their hands like this. They punish themselves. They don't punish themselves. That is the very hardest kind of meditation. This is a secret. Lord Krishna never advises that because for reasons 
to let the world go on in this law of equanimity, karma yoga. But that too is a sadhana of hatha yoga. To the yogis you must have seen in comp take their arm throughout their life's years and it withers away like a leaf. That is different. It gives perception. It's not our field now today. After this headstand, my field was compassion for you and practice. As I'm practicing now, see the room, 10 minutes, at least, wherever you go, do knowledge. Now see, you have not to do this after headstand, but whenever you have time, don't forget knowledge. This will help you and knowledge then will take you to Vajrauli also. There are different asanas you will be doing in Kag asana, but now simple knowledge you do it. Some asanas are for your Bhaka asana and all they give special on Mula Dhara Swadhisthana, this Vajrauli will be doing that. But first of all, concentrate on your asana and knowledge kriya. Mugur Bandha, too much. Hoom, 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 hoom. We'll discuss here. I hope you are enjoying. It's my practice. So, yeah, it's all for the day. So, like this, whenever you have time. So, but you have to be very precise and to know yourself what kind of profession you are doing, what kind of lifestyle you are leading. Then only go in for these extremes. And we welcome you for the vigorous of health. Your brother, Devraha Baba, Dinye Shri Yudhishthira Prasad Tripathi, Narapadehar, 65 years. Just to give you little confidence that this is yoga. You can very safely follow us. Solar powered humans, especially the Americans, English, those hearts throb the way the hearts of our tigers throb in English. <laughs> so it's a positive thing for you, you know. Sometimes I see the Americans and I saw them in jungles and caves. Uh, sometimes there is the, the difficulty of language. So here they understand you well. And furthermore, this is a game of truthfulness. No selfish motives at all. As Lord Krishna says, a true yogi is one who has not even one single worldly desire. We are of the type. Here, solar powered humans, we don't want anything from you because you and we are one and the same. Let's join together, Bali, Indonesia. Most welcome for the solar powered humans. Be a tiger, be a tiger. Yeah, don't forget Noni. See, time and again I'm putting, moment you are talking, you are in a restaurant, you are empty stomach. Noni, Noni, Noni. I'm operated here. See, never give up. I was operated in an army, you know. Something, but still meshes there, still do it. Never get back. Oh, no liquor at all. No intoxicants at all. This is my room. Oh, no, sure. So, it's all for the day. May the Almighty bless all the living creatures and bless them with oh, his treasures of knowledge which are beyond the human mind's perception. It's he himself. Oh, his grace can 
take us to those realms. Om. I prostrate in the lotus feet of all the Naga Babas, all the yogis, those who are truly striving for, be a king on their senses, not special beggars. Don't take my words, otherwise it's not ego hurting. Don't be spiritual beggars. Spiritual beggars are worse than those beggars, those with a bowl begging in the trains, in the buses, on the roadsides, before the temples. Those beggars are far better than the spiritual beggars. At least they are begging for survival of their body just because of number of reasons. There could be the cripple mentally, physically, or by crippled by their weak karmas. But don't be a spiritual beggar. The first lesson of your life is to be a tiger. As Jesus appeared as a tiger, everybody is a tiger. Don't follow jackals. Om. Jai Hind, Jai Hind, Jai Mahakal. Jai Himalayan Rangers, most welcome to India. Om Namah Shivaya. All the yogis, whosoever is practicing yoga, oh, wish you all the best. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Yeah. Ah, I have my pitus, I have the view of my pitus. This is my chintu. My pitu. This is, oh, it's, uh, see how the mother goddess, oh, may God bless them. Is feeding. Okay, it's time for their milk now. So here you can have the view of. Uh, I'll show you the view even Bali. Here my sea cross ventilation window. No, it's my video is no professional. I want to share the best things with the humanity. So here we go. See the cloudy. Now it's getting cloudy, and uh, ah, best time for sun gazing. You can see. Look at my eyes. Ah, if you can look here from here, yeah, sun gazing, wide open eyes. If you can see my eyes, wide open eyes, without blinking. Om Namah Shivaya. Om.